Hi, I'm Chef Jamie Rohrabach from the Lincoln Culinary Institute in Hartford, Connecticut. A question a lot of people will ask is, how do I just simply roast a turkey? There's a million ways people do it. As a professional chef, though, we don't have an awful lot of time. We want to focus on technique and have a good quality because we have to make the gravy and the stuffing and everything else. So anyway, we have a properly thawed turkey. What you want to do is, though, in the plastic wrapping that it does have, never cut through the plastic on the top. Where the breast is, you're going to ruin the skin. So we always flip it over. So you're now on the back side. So if you do make a little bit of a mistake, so we're gonna just make an incision, slit open. Notice I have the turkey also on a tray that allows me to catch any juices because you don't want to contaminate your kitchen. So I do want to hold this over a tray so you don't get the juices everywhere. So basically, you know, let the turkey come out of its package. A turkey, whether it's fresh or frozen and thawed, is gonna be very moist and very wet. And that's kind of counterproductive when it comes to roasting it properly. So let me show you. What uh, we're gonna do is, I'm gonna take the neck out for, for first. I'm gonna open this up a little bit and you will maybe, depending on how it's packaged, you might find a cute little bag of all kinds of what we call innards. Now, you can make very good things out of the livers and so on, so that is an option you do have. But here's what I wanna do at this point. I wanna get this turkey a little bit more uh, padded dry. So what I'm gonna do is just take a large amount of paper towels and really just blot it dry the best we can. The more moisture that's on this, the more high likelihood you're not gonna be roasting your turkey, but you're gonna be steaming your turkey, which you know is a different cooking technique, but uh, you know, you're not gonna have that typical roasted flavor, and you're not gonna get the caramelization. So I'm really gonna blot this dry very well. You may notice that there is also a pop-up timer. Now there's nothing wrong with to use those. In my experimentations though, over the years, those pop-ups usually don't pop out until about 180 degrees, which means it's probably a little more cooked than you need it to be. So personally, as a professional, I don't have any need for that, but that's a personal choice. So I'm going to continue blotting dry. Now, you're going to notice also stuffing a turkey is a common thing. I am not really going to go that route so much today, only because it tends to make the bird roast a little bit more uneven. When you really fill this cavity with stuffing, the heat cannot get in there and really the outside of the turkey cooks before. So as professionals, we generally don't stuff it. You can certainly roast your stuffing in a separate pan and use some of the turkey drippings over the stuffing as you bake it in the oven to make it easier. So this will cook quicker, it'll cool quicker, it'll be overall a lot safer. So let's get it ready now for the oven. Now that I've blotted it dry, I'm gonna go in a nice roasting pan. So as a professional, what we generally do is simply rub the entire turkey down with either softened butter or in this case I'm using canola oil. What this does is it allows the whole thing to basically have a little bit more of an even color. So we're going to kind of massage it down with the oil or butter and you can get on the back side as well and just make it so it doesn't stick to the rack. If you notice the, the roasting pan is a heavy style and it, uh, it's a heavy bottom but also um, it's an appropriate size so we don't get any drippings going on there. And we have a rack as well, which keeps it off the bottom so it doesn't actually sit in its own juices. Now, I talked about not stuffing it, but if you do want to promote a little more aroma going on in your kitchen, but also in the turkey, sure, I'll put a little bit of herbs in the cavity. So I happen to have rosemary, thyme, sage, whatever you have. I just picked these from our garden here and uh, they're so fragrant and aromatic. Now, the other thing that we will want to do is go ahead and add a copious amount of kosher salt. Seems like a lot, but I'll tell you, rub it down pretty good with this salt, and what you'll get is basically the salt will start to remove some of the excess moisture in that turkey skin, and it will tend to roast a bit nicer. You'll get better quality color, and the skin actually will get moderately crispy, which often isn't the case with turkey. I've left the actual um, legs crossed together with that, uh, the plastic they supply for that, and that does tend to help maintain a good shape, but I think that's perfectly fine to roast in the oven as is. Now, I would love to just include the neck, the neck I usually just put somewhere down in the roasting pan to roast. That'll help make our gravy a little bit more tasty, but I do want to take it out of there so that the heat can get inside and roast very evenly.